Come on, guys. Chris here with RFSC. I'm coming at you with part one of this week's RFSC exercise tutorial video series. We're going to be going over the step up today. Um, a disclaimer before we even get started. If you're a beginning athlete, I suggest starting with a lower box until we get that stability worked out. If you're already good to go, then go and start here, but just start lower and then progress up. I'd rather you start too low than start too high, maybe get hurt or get discouraged or whatever it is. Also, this is the way I teach step ups. It does not mean it's the way, like the perfect way, because I mean, there really is no perfect way. Any movement is good movement, as long as it's not compromising your low back or, you know, opening up to injury. So this is just how I do it. So I have clients step up pretty close to the box, take one leg up. I like to see the leg about parallel, maybe a little bit above parallel. Okay, so I'm in a good spot. I have an 18 inch box here. So now, I'm gonna take my right leg, we're gonna step up. We're gonna come all the way back down. Step up, and come all the way back down. If you wanna make these a little bit more intense before you add weight, we can step it up to balance, and back down. Up to balance, and back down. Obviously here we're not looking to go Side to side, we want to stay square. So pick something out that's in front of you that's going to keep you squared up. All right, so once we master those two, we can move to loaded variations. So we can go two dumbbells, just, you know, side loaded. We're going to step it up and back down. Up and back down. Okay, so pretty simple. We can take a kettlebell, hold it like a goblet, same thing, step it up and back down. We can go offset loaded front rack kettlebell. All right, a little bit more advanced. So we're going to go left arm, step up with our right leg, step it up and back down. All right, it looks simple, but it's a little bit harder, makes it quite a bit harder on the core because you're trying not to rotate. So it's good for the legs and the quads, obviously, but throwing it in like that with an offset load really makes it a nice anti-rotation exercise as well. And then we can also go with the double front rack kettlebell. Step up and back down. So there it is. Pretty simple. A couple of different loading variations for you. If you want any more or if you have any questions on these, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Have a good day, guys.